Yo, let's go, man. Y'all know what it is. Yo. Chicago yeah, Bulls yeah, Show yeah. with the Cognac Boys. I'm Bobby. Right, I'm with up, my up? dog C Dub. We got Kev, aka Big Bro, in this stuff. What's up? My boy yeah, hosting yeah. from Chopping It Up with Chicago. Let's get it. How you feeling, dog? Hey, man. This is, hey, five game winning streak. Let's no get point. it. Let's get it, man. Chicago Bulls, they beat a team they were supposed to beat in the Sacramento Kings, 125-118, to where we had a couple people show out. Happy birthday to my boy, Kobe White. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Young fella went off, too. Big bro, we're going to start off with you, my guy. Go ahead, summarize the game for the people. Tell them what you like. Tell them where the Bulls can get better at. I mean, it was, you know, your typical start where they started off kind of slow. I believe Sacramento went on a 9-2 run, had a decent little lead until midway through the first quarter when the Bulls started to assert themselves offensively. Uh, we took the lead into halftime, which is good. But uh, Sacramento, they closed out the third quarter on a strong run, man. And they, yeah. made it, they kept it close. Like the, the end score, it, it actually was still close because they started to press in the end, you know, and the Bulls mm -hmm. had to earn earn that victory but overall man kobe white oh he showed out the mar made history tonight shout out to him yes, it was a it was a complete effort and then you know the spark plug green man green came in there and yeah, he, I, I don't even think he missed a shot i don't even think he missed a shot well i think he might have missed one yeah he definitely just one shot crazy this game. just one shot see dub lately he been going crazy uh I would like to say this was a great game, dude, uh, for the Bulls. Uh, they needed this to, for the end of the uh, first, well, you could say two-thirds of the season, not a half of the season. So uh, I want to give my shout-out to uh, – I always give a shout-out to the opposite team. I'm going to shout-out that young boy, Fox, the Aaron wow. Fox, man. That boy is very, very good. I think he need to change the scenery. Uh, I don't think that team can really do him justice, but he's very good. I watched him out there. But how you gonna talk yeah, about dog. the Bulls without talking about? How you gonna talk about the Bulls without talking about the Marta Rosen, bro? Just like Big Bro said, man, <laughs> just go. set a record, man. What is that? Seven or eight in a row? Seven. Thirty plus? Thirty-five. Eight in, is that? It's eight in a row and for it's six thirty plus. Thirty-five in a row. Six for thirty-five. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, in a minute, man, they're going to have to start putting that boy up there in the MVP race. They can't ignore it for long. Well, so, actually, uh, I, think he, um, I think he broke the record. I think he got 7 to 35 he broke plus the, at, at 50%. 50 yeah. He that's broke the record. That's, that's, hey. that's an incredible stat to think that nobody since the 60s has put together more than six straight 35 point plus games plus 50 percent from the field that's crazy this is a pretty that's a pretty historic stat right yeah that, what that, that, yeah that that's what i was saying because you got to get this man his roses nobody's done this since the 60s bro there ain't nobody thinking about the 60s you yeah. know what i'm saying <laughs> you know you know so Let's start giving that man some credit. Let's start giving him his roses. Let's give him his crown, whatever you want to call it. And put that boy in the top three in the MVP discussion. Man, you well, already keep, know. I want to If he keep it up. I want to give my shout out. I want to give my shout out. I want to give my shout out, Joe, to my boy Ayo Dusumu for that defensive play in the second half. He was absolutely outstanding with yes, hand, hand out there poking balls and all type of Man, Ayo, he gonna be a big player in the future, man. He, he, he a big up, player now. Step your game up, man. He gonna we, be uh, bigger. We already bigger. talked about it. We already talked about that man gonna put a lot of pressure on Lonzo Ball. Lonzo signed a four year contract, and by the time that four year contract up, the Bulls gonna have a decision to make. But overall, this game was definitely good from the Chicago Bulls. Keeping in account as we keep on talking about game after game. With the injuries, we already know who out. We already know. But, man, it was some good news that we got from uh, Zach Levine just saying that they he had some swelling. They drained the knee, so the swelling has gone down. They're going to talk about some yeah. minutes for the All-Star game. You already know. 
But man, shout out to DeMar DeRozan, man. Just continuously being consistent, continuously going at people, continuously not being scared, continuously finding his spots no matter what. You gonna double him, he gonna pass out, you gonna give him the ball right back, and Dude. he gonna splack at in your face. That's the that's yes. the type of that's the type of mentality this boys team needs right there. That's the type of mentality yeah. that this boy needs right there. But man, we got a lot in store, man. I got a lot of questions right here because man, two thirds of the season, Chicago Bulls now move up into the first seed once again with all the injuries. You know, they was tied before tonight's game, but since they won, they move up first. You know what I'm saying? So, C Dub. By the end of the season, would the Bulls still be the number one seed in the Eastern Conference? Uh, tough question. Good question. Me being from Chicago, being an ultimate Bulls fan, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. But it's gonna be a diff. It's the difficulty curve is, man, that's a fucking loop, dude. It's gonna be hard. But I'm gonna say yeah because I'm a fan. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Would Bulls still be number one by what's the end record, of the season? What's their record right now? Record is thirty-eight, 38 and, 21. and twenty-one. So what's that? Sixty games, almost fifty-nine. Yeah, there's fifty-nine so, games. Like that. Fifty-nine so we games. We got about about thirty games, thirty-two, thirty-three games left. I think. Um, well, this next eight games is going to prove a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like the hot, the Hawks are playing better. Um, and it's a other, couple other teams that we got to play in that stretch with, with ending with Memphis, if I'm not mistaken. If we go, mm -hmm. if we go 500 in that stretch, I say the Bulls will definitely finish at number one in the East. Uh, they've shown resiliency all year. There's no reason to think that they're going to stop now. Okay, so me, I got, I got the Bulls finishing second. The reason I second. got them finishing second is because I feel like with Zach Levine, I feel like I told C Dub in production that the they need to sit the uh Zach Levine a little bit, especially when the swelling happens. So you see that he's playing a couple weeks, swelling happens. He's still he's out a couple weeks. Come back, he's playing well, swelling happens again. Me personally, I want Zach Levine for the playoffs. Because if you look at the bottom of the East, like you still have to worry about oh. Kevin Durant and those guys. They might be in the play-in, but yeah. if they get in, and if the Bulls are at the first or the second seed, they have a possibility that they might play the Brooklyn Nets. You want Zach Levine knee to be healed. You want it to be feeling good because that's going to be a series to watch. That's just, yeah. that's just what it's really going to be. It's just going to be a series to watch for that. But, man, it's definitely going to – it's it's a lot of stuff going on, especially because you still got to build that chemistry back now. Because for the simple fact that Ayo Dosumu has got Vooch involved, he's helped Vooch be that inside presence. Now Lonzo Ball, when he's reinserted into the starting lineup, what is he gonna do? Because Vooch didn't play well point. under line under Lonzo Ball. So what do y'all think? Well, I'll, oh, I'll, that's I'll a great point. This. I'll say this. When Alonzo was playing with Vooch, Vooch mentally, he wasn't really there yet. He was That's trying to that. figure out his, his place in, in the, the, the cog and the scene. Because if you remember, he was missing layups right in front right. of the rim early, early right. in the season or wide open 15 footers, threes. So I think um, Alonzo Ball had him involved in the offense the first couple of weeks of the season. In fact, he was shooting over 20 shots a game, Vucevic was. Mm -hmm. So he, he's involved in the offense. He's still shooting like 17, 18 shots a game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you know it? I, I agree agree with that in a, in a way. But I want to say this. Uh, he got him involved in the offense. I'm talking about Alonzo. But he got him involved in offense and spots where he was not going to be effective. And when I say not effective, there was going to be lower percentage shots for him. Uh, when Lonzo was playing with Vooch, it was mostly threes going up. Right. Uh, I don't want to see that with Vooch. Vooch need to play from the paint in. Run them pick and rolls. Stop popping out to the three. Cut straight to the basket. And I don't know how to hit him either way. You know what I'm saying? And, and Lonzo, you know, 
he he's a very good player. He's one of my favorite players. But in the pick and roll, in terms of attacking the basket off the pick and roll and hitting that that cut man or that roll man, he struggles. He's at least at the best average at that. Okay. But Io, he's above average. Yeah. Because yeah, I like average, the, so I he, like the I asked the question because and I I made the point simply because Io like a lot of the times we say be aggressive. But a lot of the times people misconstrue the meaning of be aggressive. A lot of the time it's not taking a shot. A lot of the time it's just attacking the basket and doing what a point guard yeah. does and distributing the ball. But yeah. since we own the topic of Vooch, I feel like since the Orlando game, when we took that air when uh Mr. Suggs was this magic city, we ain't gonna get into that, but y'all yeah, know yeah. what it is. Yeah. But uh I'll get that you <laughs> All right, but in the east right now how do y'all look at Vooch from a personal standpoint I got Vooch ranked number three it's Embiid and Giannis and then Vooch in my opinion C-Dub what hmm. do you say to that I think that's about right uh that's not another big man that I can think in and right in my mind right now that can say that's better than Vooch besides those two so I was I'm gonna go a three with you I think that's right that's right there okay yeah. about three it's it's a toss up between him and Jared Allen right now with in terms okay. of how well both teams are playing. Um, I think Jared Allen brings more to the table defensively. And he'll go off he'll go off for outbursts offensively every once in a while though. You'll see mm -hmm. one of those weird ass twenty and twenty games <laughs> with like five blocks. But right. obviously offensively, um Vooch he's in a groove now. You know, so like I, I can see Vooch being number three, but Jared Allen is not that far. Um, behind him that makes sense i agree so with that. so then agree keep it that. short so then so what would be the bulls formula to push towards the eastern conference then the eastern, eastern conference finals since we're going into you know what i'm saying the latter part of the season keep help. keep going help what do you mean it's gonna be the formula like what do oh, the bulls definitely. need to do how do they need to play so they can push to the Eastern Conference Finals in a tough oh. Eastern Conference because the East is definitely okay. the tougher conference this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but absolutely. they're they're already playing they're already playing ball to the wall every night. Like they, they're putting forth the the type of effort that you want to see a championship contender have. So I believe that um, getting back of Zach Levine, of course, getting back um, Lonzo Ball and Caruso for defensive purposes because that's that's you know. Io and uh, Lonzo are great defensive point guards, right? So getting yeah. those guys back, because right now, offensively, our offensive rating is all the way at the bottom of the league now. You know, and when it was both yeah. top 10, we were in the top 10 defensively and offensively, but now our defensive rating is all the way at the bottom now because we lost our dogs. Get our defensive dogs back, I think that we got what it takes to grind with anybody in the East, except Philly, you know? I mean, we before Philly traded uh, Seth Curry and them, it just yeah. looked like in beating them had our number for sure. Yes. Okay. That's a fact. Uh I want to say the the key thing we need to work on, I think we have the pieces to compete in the Eastern Conference right now. And um what we really need to work on is toughness. I don't think we need to work on anything specific bas anything basketball wise, but toughness, because I see it like when people trap them, when they go into to two, three zones, they kind of fold. Tonight. It happened it today happened tonight. too. At the, at the end of the game, they fold a little bit. They, they act like they don't know what to do, or they fall. It's, it's like more so pressure. they panic. Yeah. So we don't need. You can't panic in the playoffs. No way. Because you're gonna get all of those defenses that they seen you struggling struggling with in the regular season. You're gonna get a heavy dose of in the playoffs. That's fair. So be prepared to get trapped. The Rosen to get trapped. Be prepared for uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, Kobe White to be open. He has to hit his shots. Uh, Matt Thomas has to hit his shots, uh, and then they'll be all right. They'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so from my perspective, I think the formula is to first and foremost, you got to get Vooch engaged. So that's hitting him early. Hitting him early. Once he get get involved early, the Bulls are a better team. Then. I think Zach Levine has to have that mindset of when DeMar DeRozan is getting double, it's my time. 
And that comes to what you said, C Dub. That's the toughness. It's when he's getting double, it's my time. Cause I believe the last game that Zach played, um, the opposing team was crossing the line and DeMar was getting doubled and Zach Levine wasn't going. He you know what I'm waiting. saying? He yes. he was he was waiting and pushing it back to DeMar. At yep. that moment, Zach Levine has to say, I'm here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He has to make, you know, make it known, you know what I'm saying, to say, like, I'm here. I'm yeah. the second person, I'm the second best player on this team, and I'm about to hold it down. So I think that's the formula to help the Bulls at least push to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's going to be interesting. And real real quick, uh, before we move on, two things. One, one thing that you mentioned, C-Dub, you said that, um, you said that, uh, hold on, uh, Bobby, you said that Vucevic has to get involved early. And I right. agree with you. That's the issue that he's had with uh, the Joel and Beads and so on and so forth. Any big that's like reputable offensively, if they go off on on Vucevic, he's out of it mentally. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't really put he don't put forth the same type of effort on the offensive end once he getting torched on the defensive end. So right. that definitely goes back to the toughness. He got to work on that. And then uh, secondly. Uh, we mentioned that that trap that we that they had in the end of the game tonight. Um, I was happy that they didn't go to the trap sooner. They didn't go to the yeah, trap oh, press yeah. Sooner. That, I was seriously. like, I was like, man, if they had started doing this with like six minutes left, we probably. I was just about game. to say, yeah, I was just about to say that yeah. they definitely did about five six minutes into the game. It would have definitely been, you know, what I'm saying, a bit more. Um, Exciting to see to see yeah. how the Bulls adjust to that because that's well, still, it's not exciting. It's nervous. I mean, hey, I, you gotta <laughs> see, you gotta see, you got, I, I, we gotta see the Bulls overcome hurdles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's the definitely. only way you get better. Definitely. Well, that's what Toronto. That's what Toronto did early in the season, like game three or four of the season. Right, and they beat Toronto us. did that. They know we beat them, but we had a twenty point lead, and they came all the way back, and we ended up winning that game. But they trapped us and full court pressed us, and, and so it's kind of disheartening to see that even you know so far into the season you guys are still struggling with the uh, with the full court press and the boxing one when Golden State did that to us. It's yeah. time to start adjusting to those types of things. Definitely, because even some teams even went to the zone early in the season too to be like, "All right, Demar, we know you want to get to the middle of the, the court." What you gonna do against this zone? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think the Bulls mm-hmm. figured out the zone, but I still think they still yeah, they figure playing. out yeah. that trap. They've been playing. They've been playing the zone uh, very well lately. Uh, man, it's 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 just gonna be a tough tough playoffs regardless because the East is crazy. But I think they can get over this toughness hump once we get those two dogs back. Got once you. we so get what, those two dogs back, that three added, now. That, that three back. Yes, That's sir. Add our tough that we gonna go up. So, but we'll see. So, record it. Keep it short. So, rumors is that Tristan Thomas, come, Tristan Thompson, is coming to the Chicago Bulls. Do y'all like this pickup? What you got, Kev? I think it's all right. You know, we needed a big man to throw out there, get some fouls. I, when we talk about toughness. We know at least Tristan mm-hmm. Thomas, Thompson, T- Tristan Thompson, is basketball court tough. You know, yes. he might not <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, he might not be from a wild hunting with you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I think um I think that was necessary, man. You know, it was a couple of other big men out there that the Bulls were looking at. Uh I, I thought DeAndre Bembry was a good would have been a good choice from uh, mm-hmm. the Nets. But too. at the end of the day, Tristan Thompson is a champion. Uh, we can't overlook having that type of leadership. Or you know that type of experience at least in the locker room for a team that's aspiring to be where he's been. Okay, C Dub. The basketball gods has answered my prayer. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get rid of the B word. <laughs> Tony Bradley is getting off my team. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Hey. His name I is like Tony Br- Tony Bradley. Tony <laughs> Bradley. <laughs> Man. His name Phony Bradley, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, I like to pick up because what Big Bro said, my man said that he brings championship pedigree that adds on to the experience of him. You know what I'm saying? Caruso, Demar, with his long, you know what I'm saying, playoff experience, and my God, yeah, definitely that man popping babies. My guy, but he can get some rebounds too, so we good. He definitely <laughs> rebound, baby. Hell yeah. 
that's his special that's, 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 that's all we need for the second unit, man. Because Io gonna the boys. yeah, because Io gonna slide back to that second unit and whatnot. But man, let's go ahead and jump into this All Star game. We got two All Stars in the goddamn All Star game. Come on now, but Te- technically three. You feel me? But you know, who the third? Got, it's Io. Io. You know, he playing oh, in yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that mean that means something. It mean yeah, it, it definitely means something. Mean something. Go ahead and yeah. Io, go ahead and pick Gary Payton Brain, so we can uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, get you yeah, right. Yeah, he said that, didn't he? Yes, sir. He said he going to have right. to learn. Yeah, let's get it. So, but man, I got a question, man. Like, first of all, before I get into the big question, just keep it short. I feel like Zach Levine. Need to just sit out. You know what I'm saying? We need Zach Levine for this eight game. You know what I'm saying? Stretch is about to come up in the playoffs, et cetera, et cetera. What y'all say? Let him play or and just uh, keep his his minutes at a minimum or just uh, sit him out? Uh, I say he should sit out, but knowing what kind of hooper he is, he's going to play. He's going to play. And I don't no. think the, 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 the coach, uh, like, adhere to our demands like we gonna be competing with them later <laughs> so they gonna tire him out all they could for sure well it's a couple of things here um he's gonna get his knee evaluated and the coaches and the uh, medical staff are gonna communicate whether or not they think he should be playing you know in this all-star game now i personally think that i personally believe he should sit out I think he should do the three-point competition because it's you know low stress. Just go out there, exactly. and shots. But I do think that he should sit out the game. If not, just go in, run a couple plays, then sit out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, just, just take, take it easy. Get some, yeah, go get some get, get some Gatorade or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, sit your sit your yeah. ass down somewhere. Throw some cognac in there, boy. <laughs> right. You get, you get the note. You get the notoriety, boy. We see you two time All Star. Now sit your ass down, boy. Hold on, real two time back. <laughs> All right, so y'all go ahead. So Demar, he playing on an opposing team other than Zach. Who gonna have a better game if they do play? Oh, Demar. <laughs> you think so? Demar. Yeah. It's gonna, I think it's gonna Demar be Demar. Gonna show off. Who gonna have the most starting. The Mars starting. So it's gonna have that goal. That's the whole yeah. different he, thing. That's yeah, fair. He, but I'm gonna he gonna try to show off. I'ma say who gonna have the most exciting plays if they do play. I'm going Zach. Of course. <laughs> you know that boy that's gonna try easy, to dunk like, on something. Come on, man. Yeah, you hey, gotta get one. Like, it's gonna be like, look, DeMar DeRozan with another mid-range. <laughs> 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 you already know. All day, man. They can't hey, stop you, man. Let's hey, go. <laughs> what it be cold though? I'm not gonna lie. What it be cold is if he get that Kobe Bryant trophy, bro. Yeah, that would be, be nice. That'd be nice. Too. That'd he be loves nice. it. That's why I think that's like his idol or something like that. I think he loves yeah. that. It's a whole generation of uh, Hoopers idol. Like they, the way we look at Mike. I'm not sure about you, uh, Bobby, but. You know, the way you yeah, Chicagoans yeah. who grew up in the 80s and 90s look at Mike is how these people look at Kobe. And then you got a whole contingency of kids looking at Bron the same way. And Curry. Like, they got Curry up there yeah. and LeBron and KD maybe. So, you know you know what I'm saying? But for me, it was always D-Rose, man. I'm so hurt that man had to bond, blow his knee. I blame Tibbs. I blame Tibbs. <laughs> but that's look what, Tibbs, look what Tibbs doing that. to the Knicks right now. Look what, the, what Tibbs doing to the Knicks right now. They tired of his ass just like every scene. <laughs> they get tired of his ass. They're like, we gonna, we gonna go to the we gonna go to the playoffs once and then we just gonna fall off. We just fall tired. off. Man, Derek tired. Rose been out. They've been trash. Since Derek been out, they've been trash. They blew, well, they blew see, another bro. twenty point they blew another twenty point lead tonight against the Nets. Man, look. I'm with you, see the Bring D Rose back to the crib, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's time. Crib. It's time. Look, it's I didn't time. want him to come back. I didn't want him to come back when Guard Pax was still Me in charge. Mm-hmm. Like I, was, I was like, no, nah, but but now that we got like a regime that, that a regime that cares about winning, I'm like, okay, come home, D Rose. Come to the crib. They was talking about right. he, needs, bit. he needs to retire here, most definitely. He needs to retire here. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Straight At up. least with a couple seasons, though. At least with a mm-hmm. couple seasons. But go ahead, uh, Kev, go ahead and get your final thoughts on today, man. You feel me? (laughs) 
my uh man my final thoughts is this is exactly what was needed um for the nba to schedule a six game home uh stretch uh before and then after the all-star break was a blessing in disguise for the bulls considering how many injuries that they have and then also having kind of like cupcake competitors like you know all every team in the nba is tough no game is a given but um mm -hmm. seeing teams like the spurs and the thunder and the kings and um that's important you know so the, and the fact that the bulls aren't playing down to their competition like they kind of did the last couple of seasons is good too so overall man I, not just tonight's game i give the first two thirds of the season you know two thumbs up man like we, we've overcome adversity uh our oh. team has been w well coached um and, yes. and they're ready to go every night even the games that they lost to like milwaukee for example they barely lost that game and they, I yeah. think they were like three for four for 30 plus four for 40 yeah it was bad man. That game. yeah yeah <laughs> all right so, yeah. For sure, hold on see dub before you go kev make it real short what game for the rest of the season are you most excited for you want me to name off some games okay cool. keep it short see dub Go ahead. Final uh, thoughts in the game that you're most excited to see to before the season end. Okay, I'll give you the game first. I'm I'm really excited to see that Memphis game. Uh, they really took it to us. I think they I think they're a little bit going a little bit ahead of themselves. They still young. I want to see them again. Uh, but my final thoughts is it's a great way to end up the sort of the halfway point of the season, you know, two thirds. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, great job, guys. Still in first place. Uh, let's go ahead and get a rest. Y'all going to go on a little mini vacay. Y'all finna do, you know, <laughs> and then come back. Let's get ready for the stretch because this stretch is going to be critical. Because yes, it's only like, what is it? Three games dividing everybody? Man, every you focus the, you on could that. be in the play. -in. Stay yes, away from that play. Gotta focus. We got to focus. But man, I'm going to just end it up by saying that, uh, Hey, good job, Chicago Bulls. Definitely been better than the last few years. Definitely been depressing to the point. Like, after All-Star break, I'm like, I'm not watching this shit I'm no more. I'm not watching this shit <laughs> no more, boy. Get this shit. Like, Turn this man. But Turn man, on wrestling. Now. <laughs> but now, I'm at the point where I'm watching every game. I'm back to watching every game to how it was when we was winning some games and we was going, you know what I'm saying, when we was with D-Rose and those boys doing our thing. But the game I'm most excited to see, I hope to see the Bulls versus the Philadelphia 76ers because they got James Harden and Lonzo Ball. Hopefully he comes back by the end, but he gave James Harden fits when James Harden was with the Brooklyn Nets. I want to see that matchup. I want to see how Vooch approached the game. I want to see how Alonzo approached the game. And I want to see what kind of things that Doc Rivers going to throw at the Chicago Bulls to see if he can slow down DeMar because DeMar is hot right now. I don't see nothing that you can do. What you going to do? <laughs> I got to see it. Any single coverage, you kill it. I got to see it. So. It don't matter. Even, you got to double. Even, even double coverage. Yeah. Uh, my, um, I would say my player of the game tonight is birthday boy, man. He's been impressing me. Uh, with his three-point shooting, uh, Kobe White, and the, the way the way that he, I think the the, the trade rumors were effective. Ah! Hey, Chicago Bulls fans, you want to see Kobe White have a good game? Just holler trade. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, just holler honestly, trade. <laughs> I think that I think honestly though, he was struggling a little bit with the whole. Oh, no, he definitely rumors. was. And he, but ever since the trade deadline has come and gone, this dude is shooting. Probably like at least fifty percent from three. Hey, like he shoot lights yeah, out. He shoot he lights out. Crazy, bro. He shoot lights yes, out. Yes, sir. Shout out to the tonight. birthday boy. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to the birthday boy, man. Keep keep throwing them flame throwers, baby. Let's get it yeah, on a real right. man. I don't Why know you what he talk with his hair though. <laughs> he just got him a little taper, but that's a tape on it. But Kev, why you talking? Go ahead, plug yourself, man. Let let the I people mean, know. It's Big Bro, top of it up Chicago. You guys can follow me on all your social medias, Instagram, TikToks, and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, look us up on Spotify. We're going to be back live in the studio real soon. But I'm looking forward to getting back with you gentlemen as soon as possible, man. Let's uh, let's, let's chop it up after the All-Star game, man. Let's see what happens. Good to see y'all again. Go. You already know, Big Bro, we doing this. For hey, real. Man.
Hey, he looked like he put on one of them London hats. Don't you know them the security guard? <laughs> <laughs> like he just took that one off. You know? <laughs> the cognac gang, y'all like going, what y'all? To do like, subscribe, comment, and drink some cognac. Yeah, yeah. This ain't cognac, though. Forget this cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they got a cup on there. I don't even. Cognac. 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 Gang. Gang. Gang.